alright. This is the best of charm of Eclipse plugins, you know, or any other ID plugin. But I'll be demoing on Eclipse only today. So, basically, I have very few uh, slides, very few slides, a lot of them. And I'm switching back to the Eclipse and uh, slides very quickly, or very frequently. So I'll be showing you how to use a fast code Eclipse plugin, which is the one I, I wrote. And there is a more unit plugin, infinite test. Um, and I'll be showing mostly code, you know, how you can easily generate code and navigate uh, code and start an end to end solution. You don't see any web, website, web kind of, that kind of thing. Not a full blown application. But you'll get a test of other plugins capability. But uh, feel free to stop me any time, you know, if you have questions. Okay? So this is my plugin, you know, I get good hits, you know, listed in these places. JV website, Wikipedia, and some other. Okay? So let's start with a simple example, reverse string. Reverse, let's say you're given a string, you want to reverse the words, you know. Let me like an example, you know. If you're given a string, this likes Java, it should return that Java likes this. Make sense? So how do I write it? That's a simple code. With the value, I'll split it with the white space. And then I reverse, reverse the, you know, it will give me an array and then I'll reverse the array and then turn it back. Right? Makes sense? So, so how do I test it? So you have to write test, right? And Eclipse will provide uh, unit test capability, uh, like if you say JUnit test, right? Then what you have to do the source, it will always put the source code, uh, source folder as the folder of the source code. But which is not what you want, right? You want to use a uh, separate folder for test. Right? So to, the Eclipse plugin, will ask you every time, and every time you have to choose, yeah. okay? So instead, I have, you know, what my plugin does, if you install the plugin, it will be, uh, give you all this menu, and here there's a create unit test, okay? The so better yet, don't go to, you don't need to go to menu, just highlight the method, and use the keyboard shortcut. So this simple keyboard shortcut, so all you have to do this is this. So the first time it is a little slow. Then the typical methods that uh, it has, you know, for this case simple, it would not need any of those methods. So boom, it generated and took me back. So do not mind this. You don't need this for this simple test. Okay? But you see what it did. It did a put a test, put all the annotations, everything, wrote a little bit one, right? Hold, some kind of stuff for it all, right? <coughs> uh, there seems to be some error, but if you go back to the test, Actual, actual uh, you see the, the class looks different, right? So that's, it puts a little marker that now the, there's a test for it. And that's the more unit, more unit plugin is doing that. If you go to any other class, there is, there is no such marker, right? So that's kind of cool about more unit, okay? But I was expecting 
one more thing, but let me see what are the error. errors in the Okay, so in, this is the other plugin, Infinite Test, which automatically runs the test. As soon as you change your code, it will automatically run your test. So that's pretty cool, right? But what am I doing? I'm just doing a blank string, so let me give meaningful, some meaningful word. So, Chris likes Java. So I get back Java like Chris. The next line I'm, do, I'm just doing assert not now. So that's not enough. So I have to say assert. a compiler error, so I have the import. I have the import, as I equals. Now that work? Now it's compiler fine. Now it's not working. So if you look at the marker here again, it's saying as I did not go through. So what is the problem? The code looks fine, right? There is a subtle difference, you know, that in the white space, and when I say star, it, it means zero or nothing, none, a zero or more. Or more. So I, I have to put really at least one white space. Okay? As soon as I change the code, Okay, now there's no more there. Okay. 
But you cannot uh, just rely on one one example, right? You have to test all kind of things, right? Has, but how, how does it do if you just put case, just one word? How will it be? So you have to have more, need to have more test. So again, if you go to JUnit test, Eclipse built in JUnit, and again you have to switch every time you have to switch to the test folder. Now you cannot do anything anymore. You said JUnit already exists. You cannot create any more methods. Okay, so that has become useless. But if you use fast code plugin, you use the deep the shortcut, you know, create JUnit again, unit test. So you detect that test already exists. So what do you want to do? Create additional test, do nothing, or jump to the test. So then you create additional test. Do you, do you want to test that this method throws exceptions? You know, of, I say no for now. So create another boom, create another, and this is, I'll probably name it as one, one word, right? Two words, 